I'm in shock. <laughs> I am that that could be going on. I would have never thought in a million years that something like this would have been happening there. But on one Terrytown street, it has. 38-year-old Joshua Sullivan has been arrested, charged with 10 counts of pornography with the juvenile. Even worse because it's right next door to me. And we've got kids that run up and down the neighborhoods all day. That could have been one of them. Sullivan lived on East Niagara Circle before moving to Alabama within the last year. Police say he was found with more than 1,100 graphic images of young children. And what's worse is he was reportedly a professional photographer. He said he was a photographer. I said, oh, okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. It's very devastating, very scary. According to JPSO records, a local victim who was seven years old claimed she was sexually abused by Sullivan. She was visiting his house for a sleepover with his daughter. She described him as a bad person who did nasty things to her during the sleepover. The child alleged he took photographs of the incident and said he did this with all of his daughter's friends. I know his wife, she worked at the hospital and she did tell me that he took pictures, she showed me pictures of the chil their children, you know, how nice he took pictures, but I had no idea anything was like that was happening. JPSO said Sullivan photographed two young girls' genitals, and as they continue to search through evidence, fear there could be more victims. Now, according to Sullivan's Facebook page, she was a photographer under the Pixel Painters Photography business. On that page, we saw that he had photographed dozens of children. Scott? So, Juliana, do we know when this started or how long this might have been going on? So that seven year old initially made those claims of sexual abuse back in 2012. It was in 2012 when JPSO seized Sullivan's electronic devices, but those devices were never searched until 2018. Sullivan was arrested May 15th and some additional charges were filed on June 1st. We asked JPSO why it took more or less six years for those devices to be searched. We're still waiting to hear back live outside of the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, Juliana Meza, WDSC News.